Meet Flipper, the charismatic bottlenose dolphin who captured the hearts of viewers in the 1964 TV series. Ever wonder which character in the show became your favorite? From the very first episode, audiences were hooked by the adventures of this intelligent marine mammal and his human friends. Have you ever thought about the first time you tuned in to watch his incredible underwater world unfold? As you dive into the series, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that will leave you in stitches, shocking twists that will keep you on the edge of your seat, and heart-wrenching scenes that might just bring a tear to your eye. So keep watching because there's a sea of surprises waiting for you. Now, we're curious what's your most special memory or personal experience connected to this classic TV series. Share your stories and nostalgia in the comments below. We would love to hear about the moments that made a splash in your heart. Stay tuned for more Flipper facts and fan experiences. Your stories add depth to the charm of this beloved show. In 1964, a TV series emerged, introducing audiences to the captivating world of a charismatic bottlenose dolphin and his human companions. As viewers tuned in, they found themselves immersed in underwater adventures unfolding with each episode. The show's influence on popular culture was profound, going beyond the television screen. Audiences were not just entertained, they were hooked by the intelligence and charm of the marine mammal. The show left a lasting impression on the hearts of viewers, creating memories that span generations. The reception during its time was enthusiastic. Viewers experienced a range of emotions, from moments that made them laugh to scenes that tugged at their emotions. The series became a powerful example of storytelling, skillfully weaving together funny, shocking, and poignant moments. Following its success, the show catalyzed a wave of cultural influence. Spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations followed, further embedding the Dolphins' legacy in popular culture. The ripple effect extended beyond the television set, reaching various facets of entertainment. The spin-offs and adaptations not only expanded the narrative, but also allowed what audiences to delve deeper into the enchanting world initially brought to life in 1964. The influence of the show was not confined to the small screen, it became a cultural touchstone, sparking creativity in its wake. Merchandise featuring the beloved dolphin flooded the market, creating a tangible connection between fans and their favorite marine character. The dolphin's presence extended beyond the living room, becoming a part of everyday life through toys, clothing, and various collectibles. As time passed, the echoes of the show's impact persisted. The show's ability to connect with audiences of all ages ensured its enduring popularity. The adventures of the bottlenose dolphin and his human companions continued to captivate new generations, cementing its place in television history. In retrospect, the 1964 TV series was not merely a show, it was a cultural phenomenon that left a lasting legacy. Its influence on popular culture was far-reaching, and subsequent spin-offs and adaptations only served to amplify its reach. The charm of the dolphin, with its playful antics and endearing interactions, remains in the collective memory of those who experienced the magic of the underwater world. In the Flipper TV series, Brian Kelly gained recognition for his portrayal of a responsible widow with father known as Porter Ricks. During season three, at the age of 19, Kelly joined the National Guard, leading to a notable change in his appearance with shorter hair. Interestingly, during this season, Kelly was only 16 years older than Luke Halpin, one of the key human companions in the series. Brian Kelly's role as Porter Ricks showcased his ability to embody a father figure, contributing to the dynamic between the human characters and Flipper. Season 3 brought a unique challenge as Kelly, now a National Guard member, had to adjust to shorter hair for filming. Notably, the age proximity between Brian Kelly and Luke Halpin adds an intriguing layer to their on-screen chemistry, with the two actors sharing a relatively close age gap during the series. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the practical aspects of filming and the actors' real-life connections. The Flipper series, beyond its engaging storyline and charismatic dolphin, offers a glimpse into the challenges faced by the cast during its production. Amidst the underwater adventures of the Flipper TV series, the 23-foot Thunderbird Iroquois Deep V Cathedral Hull powerboat played a prominent role. The fiberglass marvel, equipped with twin inboard engines, showcased innovative design features of its time. Two boats took turns in the spotlight, with the version in the final season featuring a distinctive two-tone interior, an additional side porthole, and a wooden deck. Luke Halpin, who portrayed Sandy Ricks, not only navigated the on-screen human-dolphin camaraderie, but also embraced daring stunts. 
in the Shark Hunt episode of Series 2, Halpin encouraged Sean as he grappled with sizable sharks, demonstrating a unique blend of bravery and skill. However, exceptions surfaced in the 300 feet below episode of Series 1 and Firing Line 2 of Series 3, where dolphin trainer Rick O'Berry stepped in for Luke's perilous dives and explosive encounters. Delving into the series' origins, screenwriter-producer Riku Browning extended his influence beyond the TV screen. Browning penned a flipper book inspired by the ancient Spartan Greek legend of a dolphin rescuing Poseidon's son, Taurus. This literary venture paved the way for the inaugural flipper movie directed by Ivan Tors. As a tribute to Luke Halpin's poignant portrayal, Tors transformed an antique coin from the Spartan city of Taurus into a gilded ring an adornment Luke wore with pride in various scenes throughout the series and beyond. In the expansive narrative of Flipper's cultural impact, the TV series prompted a ripple effect that extended into the cinematic realm. The show's influence manifested in spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that deepened the connection between fans and the charismatic Marine character. Flipper's charm reached beyond the living room, becoming a ubiquitous presence through toys, clothing, and collectibles. Exploring the behind-the-scenes dynamics, Brian Kelly's portrayal of Widow would father Porter Ricks take center stage. Joining the National Guard during Season 3, Kelly not only faced the challenges of his on-screen role, but also adapted to a shorter hairstyle. The age proximity between Kelly and Luke Halpin added an interesting layer to their on-screen chemistry, creating a dynamic that echoed the real-life connections among the cast. The Flipper TV series, with its engaging narrative and charismatic marine star, stands as a testimony to innovation and dedication both on and off screen. From the cutting edge design of the Thunderbird Iroquois to Luke Halpin's daring stunts and the cross generational influence of the series, Flipper left a lasting impression on the cultural landscape. Luke's journey to stardom began in the late 1950s, sharing the stage with Jackie Gleason in Take Me Along. By 1964, he landed a pivotal role in a TV series on NBC, competing with Gleason's American Scene magazine. The show aired on Saturday nights, gaining popularity and securing a spot in the top 25 for the 196-465 season. Rick O'Berry, the dolphin trainer responsible for the on-screen Marine Stars, went the extra mile by connecting an extension cord to the Miami Aquarium. This allowed with the Dolphins to see themselves on screen during the episodes, showcasing their self-awareness. Key Bice Games Village became a consistent backdrop for the series' boat scenes, forming an almost constant presence. This geographical feature provided a recurring element, grounding the dynamic world of Flipper. The Flipper series unfolded against the scenic backdrop of the village of Key Bice Gain, creating visual consistency in portraying the characters' maritime adventures. This unassuming peninsula played a silent yet pivotal role in shaping the on-screen narrative. Behind the scenes, Brian Kelly played a dual role as Porter Ricks and served in the National Guard during Season 3. The close age proximity between Kelly and Luke Halpin added depth to their on-screen chemistry, contributing to the authenticity of the human-dolphin camaraderie. Amidst Flipper's underwater escapades, the Thunderbird Iroquois Deep V Cathedral Hull powerboat took center stage. Luke Halpin, not just an on-screen companion, but a daredevil engaged in daring stunts, displaying a unique blend of bravery and skill. Delving into the series' origins, screenwriter-producer Riku Browning's literary venture, based on an ancient Spartan Greek legend, added an extra layer to Flipper's cultural impact. Browning's creative influence extended beyond the TV screen, paving the way for the inaugural Flipper movie directed by Ivan Tors. Flipper's cultural resonance extended into the cinematic realm, with spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations amplifying its influence. Luke Halpin's poignant portrayal earned a tangible tribute, transforming an antique coin into a gilded ring, symbolizing pride worn by Halpin in various scenes throughout the series and beyond. Looking back, Flipper's popularity isn't just about a TV show. It's a result of innovation and dedication, both on and off-screen. The series, with its engaging narrative and charismatic marine star, left a lasting impact on the cultural landscape, creating a ripple effect that reached beyond the living room.